Hello everyone, Nikki Becker, El D'Angelo here for The Addicted Gamer, and we're playing Planet Base for another episode. We're over here on the icy planet. I'm sure you just saw the last episode, maybe in the last 12 hours or so, and we're building our base up little by little, but the power consumption of this base is kind of heavy right now, and I gotta start thinking about alternative means of producing power. In other words, I need more power. And I'm thinking about putting something off of this guy over here. I just built that solar power plant over there, or told them to. We still need two more metal. Our metal production isn't what it needs to be, so we're consistently running out of spare parts. And uh, hopefully, what do we have? There's goes carrier bot, that's one. Just trying to make sure that they're going in the right places. Did anything go in here? So the minute you're done, make sure it goes in that machine. Where the hell are you? Oh. You guys are coming out here. Okay. That was my fault. Nobody else's. I decided that that was what they were going to do. Perfect timing. Perfect timing. Perfect. Just in time for getting the maximum amount of solar energy that we get. So this should start moving us up. Yes, it is. It's moving us back up to full. So we staved off a potential power crisis. Oh God, that scared me. Um, and we are moving forward with uh, trying to build up our base. Wow, that was scary. Just as I was saying that, I was like, oh please, nothing happened, and that started to fall. All right, so we do have somebody with a broken bone here. I don't think we have any medicine, do we? No, we do not. And the main... Oh, he's making it, though. Good job. And... Oh, shit. Oh, mother freaking turd butt poop. Oh, where is it? F6? Are we having what I think we're having? Great. We're going to lose people. We're going to lose people. We are going to lose people fast. We need a medic. Oh, really? Where are you going? Oh my god. Save somebody. Save somebody. Somebody is going to die. Somebody. Three people are going to die. Oh my god, that was just idiotic on my part. Come on, go save somebody. If you give it to the guy with the broken leg, I will kill you. Good. Guy with the broken leg, live. Okay, get that stuff made. Other medic, get in there. Other medic, get in there. Okay, you're good. You, lie down on the bed. You will die. You're going to die. You are going to die. You. Mikhail Patrick, it was nice to have you on this planet. I am so sorry that my neglect caused you your life. Oh my god, that was just ridiculously stupid. Oh, really? How is he better? How are you better? Just lying there, you're better? Or is it because you know this guy? Where did you go? Where's the medic? The medic has to build more. Come on, medic. Alright, are we backing up? Yes, we are starting to back up. So maybe this is the opportunity that we do something like this. To spark them for doing more. Nope, there's no place to put this because of my short-sightedness. Alright, sorry guys. One of you may die. One of you may live. I don't understand how you guys got well just lying there. You just lied there and got better? If that's all it took, I would have put you in that bed a long time ago. You have to be dying. You just lied there and radiation sickness went away. You gotta be kidding me. We lost nobody. That's... That's freaking amazing. I don't understand that at all. That is amazing. So we need two more metal over here, and we need a lot of these. So let's turn this back on. Um, I'm going to hope to get somebody that has a lot of uh, 
spare parts. We're going to buy them and get this back up and running. Because we are not making it through the night if these things aren't working. Alright. So we need spare parts being made. Nothing else. Alright. We need metal in there. I wish you could turn off production at times, and, you know, I overextended myself here. Hopefully, hopefully somebody's going to come and land in just a few moments. Oh, well, they got that done. That's useless, though. Oh, you got the last metal. Now start making spare parts. That's all I ask you. Make spare parts. Alright, so we may be able to save this. I doubt we're going to live through the next couple of days, but we shall see. Thank you. We now have a much quicker way around here, and we're fine. So we have here. So that means I could use this area for backup uh, power if I want to. Making that was a good deal at this point. Um, we need you to make, and thankfully you make two at once. You just need to go through it. And uh, hopefully we'll get somebody landing in the next few moments. We have a ton of vegetables and uh, not really that. Oh, we have some a ton of bioplastic. Yeah, we have lots of food. We just want to make sure. I wish you could give these guys stims to make them work faster. But he, he's already tired. So he might not make it through to the full 100%. What we want is somebody over here. We ran out of spares. We're going to get two right away. And then we're going to be backed up on metal, aren't we? Please be backed up on metal. By the time you're done. Oh, did you just finish? You finished? Good. Now, do you have any spare parts? No. The game is giving me the finger again. <laughs> God. Um, 56. Constructor bot and a carrier bot. People say, I don't want to do construction. I don't want a constructor bot. But they don't realize that what the constructor bot does is more than construction. The engineer spends a lot of his time going around and fixing all different parts of the uh, base, including things like this out here that are broken down and parts of the base that might break down. And they spend a large deal of their time doing that instead of doing things like making spare parts and uh, making robots. So if you have a constructor bot, it takes up all of those extra tasks and does all the menial tasks like repairing outdoor energy pieces, you know, power producing equipment like uh, your solar panels and your um, wind turbines. And also, they'll repair anything that's damaged by the meteor strikes, leaving your engineers to do the much more um, important tasks like building more bots and like building... Uh, well, like creating spare parts. So do make the robot pieces. You know, do make the constructor bots by constructor bots. It'll make your base run much more efficiently. And you'll see that that was great. He went right for the biggest one, which was the most efficient use of that one spare part. All right, we've got these spare parts. We are now back in operation. So I think at this point, I could actually turn this back on. I'm going to go for normal. Yeah, we're going to go for normal. And we'll let some more people come in, which means we're going to need another place for people to live. And that's going to be probably in this direction over here, but we have to build into this direction. Right now, I want to put a... Oh, wait. What is that? All right, that's enough people. That's enough people. All right, I want to put, well, I want to get everything fixed first. I want to get a few spare parts backed up. We have one. All right, that's good. All right. Not so bad, not so bad at all. But uh, I, I do need to drop this over here. We're going to build a canteen out here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to build it like this. And hopefully that will work. Good, that will work. I'm going to build it like that. 
And that means I can buy a couple of spare parts from this dude, if he has any. So that will keep us in operation a little bit longer. That is very dangerous, very dangerous, very dangerous indeed. 135? We're gonna need one of you. Somebody go out there, get all that stuff out there. So we'll have our spare parts. We won't worry about losing them as we're doing this construction. It's important. Construction leads to breakdown of spare parts, lack of spare parts, leads to death and annihilation. So we started coming in this direction as you see. And what I'm going to do is build a dorm off of here. We have happy places for seven, um, make that 14 people. How many people did we add? We had 28. Oh, 28 and 7. We could do another, maybe we'll just do another cabin. As we build into this area over here, um, this direction I want to build a lab. And we'll build some more medicinal plants and more food over here. Power storage is critical because there's no wind, because the AI hates me. Are you, you, you're waiting on one. Oh, come on. You could come back up again. So we're going to need more power. There we go. Getting our power. Bring that one thing to him. Get those six and we're done. All right, we've got that almost done. All right, let's build another wind turbine in this direction over here. What the hell? Okay, that will help us. Okay, that's a nice big canteen because this is gonna be a hub going into the new area this way. This is a big area. And as we start to expand down there, we're going to start housing some people in this area and using the rest of it for, uh, oh, maybe we could do that. Maybe we could do that. That's a good idea. Thank you very much for your help there, Mr. Bot. Um, let's get that built and then we'll worry about everything else. This guy's walking all the way around. That's gonna be out of the way we're going to need another, when we start to expand in this direction, we're going to need another something over here. So maybe we will come off this way. No, I think we need to come off this way and straight out. I think I'm going to just do a lab straight out. And just do a lab like this. Maybe I should do a lab straight down. No, I should do a lab like this. Good. Because then I can do a large cabin this way and everything else over here everything else in that area could be power okay so we're thinking about it this is where people are going to live and we need let's see there's something over here we already found that we had full beds once we need another bed That makes sense. And we are filled up on those items now. 
Yeah, of course. You keep blowing up. Did it just blow up something that was on it? Bed has been built. Bed has been built. Okay. Um, that'll be a lab. Okay, that makes sense, right? And then if I want to, I could always come from here to here. There's absolutely no way anyone could ever build that, so we can't do that. We'd have to destroy like this. Let them build it and then rebuild that. We'll be fine without it. He's going out. Good job. Okie dokie. So we need to get a... Some kind of a... Maybe that's what I need to do. Just for the time being, can we put one straight a straight off? I mean, we probably could if we come down a little. So that's a lab. And we're going to put this guy right here. This guy right here. Alright, this is 56% full. Hmm. I want to send that this way. So that's a cabin. It's a place to eat. We're going to be very basic in the beginning. We're going to put one of these, one of these, one of these in a place I know it will never come off, right there. And one of these. And water, of course, so they'll die. Like I said, very basic to start off with. There we go. So some people that are up here can just go. And then we will build up beds in here for people to live. People will be very happy about this. They will live in this area. They will work in this area. They will make the base survive by living in this area. Okay, so there we go. And... Because we're doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to drop down some medicinal plants. And we're going to drop down another rice plant. That should help us out immensely. And I have another idea in just a few seconds as to what we're going to do. So we're going to turn back on processors. We're going to come over here, we're going to turn this on, because this should be built now. Ha <laughs> ha, it is. And we're going to make sure that the next thing that we build... ...is in this area over here. And it's a big battery. That's it. Turn this off for now. That'll save us a lot of power. You guys make the big battery and make us happy. Over here. I don't want to... I do want to bot auto repair. And we'll just put it right there for now. And as soon as we're done with a bot auto repair, which will be after this is built, I hope, we'll come and do something else. We have guns, so we're fine. Oh boy. This one is not as hard as they made it out to be. I mean, I know that you're always teetering on the brink of destruction with every move you make. As long as you you gradually increase your size of your base, you'll be fine. So 
we're gonna get into robot production soon which means we're gonna start wanting to make a lot of these because this is where we get our cash from when the guys come and land we can sell these for big so we can make a lot of these we could turn them into 25 coins every time we also want to start making it kind of fun for things the lab is out of water so that was bound to happen I should have known better um, I think I'll come off of here with another water since it's close to here and it's just always gonna build the big ones All right, folks, we are just about done. Just about done. We'll wait for a couple of things to get built. Specifically, well, we have one more piece that has to go out here. And this is a two, so we need three more metal to be delivered. That should not take long. I'm going to reopen up the colonists. So we have a lot of food. We're gonna have a lot of water coming in. We have oxygen for quite a few people, I believe, at least. Let's see what it says. Oxygen's at 22%. So we should be fine. Let's make sure that that is the case. Oxygen for 50, pe 50 people. We can go to 50 with what we currently have. What we have to worry about right now is just water. And uh, yeah, we need two more there. So we need three more. We just need to worry about oxygen and water. I mean, power and water right now, to be more specific. So once that battery's built, life should be a lot better. We ran out of spares again, but that's going to come up. That's mostly because we're using all our metal for this, and we don't have enough people right now. So let's get rid of traders for the time being. Just so most of the people that come. And look at this. There go the wind gods again, taking the wind away. That's why you need lots and lots of batteries and big giant wind turbines like this. All right. We have three there. Oh, we have two there. So we can send an engineer to build the water, which will give the lab the water that it needs to work. And there goes the last. There's the last metal over there, so as long as these are built, we can say goodbye for today. Alright, so we've got Mr. Engineer coming out. Let's see how many of these things he built. So he did the right one. Oh, he did. He got the two that we needed done. So we back, we have water again. So we don't have to worry about lab being out of water. The lab can work now. Um, semiconductor plant. Needs to make a semiconductor at some point. Two of them for here. That's fine. We'll let that happen. Oh, battery is built. Ladies and gentlemen, we're looking good again. We've got power coming up. We're storing power in lots of places. We just increased our power storage by 12,500 units. Just increased our water production by a ton. And it looks like we are still viable. We still have a viable base. Um, lots of interconnections so people don't have to run too far, doubling up on the things that are here with uh, places for people to relax and eat, places for people to work, places for people to sleep in their own bed. We're doing great. So join me again next time and please be sure to put a thumbs up. Any suggestions you have as comments and don't forget to subscribe. With that say, said, you all be safe out there and I'll talk to you soon.